Hello everyone, I want to show you how to use HDRP lighting box to set up your scene lighting easily and quickly. Okay, open a sample scene, no lighting is, has been done in this sample scene. Okay. We don't have camera, so create the camera, create a direction of light for testing, enable shadows. This is the default lighting, not good at all. So open the HDRP lighting box, create a new profile. As you can see, the default lighting is amazing. amazing. Okay. Now uh, we want to use uh, day night sequel prefab to quickly enable shadow. What happens? Okay, you must first delete, delete the other di directional light. HDRP only supports one directional light at the same time. Okay, as you can see, the day not sequel prefab is amazing. Amazing. The result is very good. Okay. Everything looks good. The default setting is very good. Uh, here you can change the skybox cube map. You can download free ones. Let me to import. Okay. Uh, the download link for HDR Skybox is available in video descriptions. It's all free. All are free. Wait to import complete. My CPU is Ryzen 5. So the import SPT is good. This our HDR Sky box from freehdsguys.com. Uh, I want to generate a Sky box cube maps. Okay, here now you can select a skybox cube maps. What happens? Oh, I'm sorry. Here is the cube maps. As you can see, the ambient light quickly update, updated based on sky cube. Here you can rotate. This is the dynamic mode to quickly update the sky color. Everything quickly update. This is a good one for our test. Okay. Also, you can use I 
other skybox types. The HDRI is the best choice. If you reduce exposure, your sunlight intensity will be high. You can decrease the sun intensity. If you here is your physical amount your sun intensity okay also you can from here increase the auto exposure feature the default setting is good you can use fixed mod. When you use fixed mod, you must change the settings. This settings and this one and the sun intensity and indirect diffuse must be balanced to work together. This is the ambient lighting. As you can see, the ambient light intensity is this one. This is the reflection, overall reflection. On the built-in pipeline, it's available here, but in HDRP is available here. These two options. In on the built-in pipeline, you have a uh, ambient light here. You can control it from here. Also, you have a uh, environment reflection, global reflection. You can control the intensity from here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have two game objects to control the lighting marks. This is your main global volume. You can drag here the HDRI for light mapping. Okay, let me to test a light mapping. In HDRP you can make ambient lighting and use real-time sunlight. So we want to bake uh, ambient lighting. This is the sun. Directional light type must be real time. Okay, try to bake the ambient lighting. My GPU is. As you can see, the ambient light has been baked. And you have a baked ambient light and real time sunlight. This is a good solution. Use real time sunlight and baked ambient light. And finally, use high values to have more quality. Now, when you change the skybox, the ambient light will not update because it has been baked so you must bake again your scene when you change the skybox this will optimize your game performance Real-time GI is not support that in HDRP currently will be added soon by Unity. Okay, here you can control the intensity. Now, when you change the the skybox, the ambient light is not update. 
So you must pick it again. Okay? Okay. As you can see, the lighting box will help you to quickly set up your scene lighting with proper settings. Here you can add lens dirt effect. Okay, here you can add tips of field, it's visible on game view. Here you can add camera script and play. Now you can move easily in your scene. As you can see, the depth of field make effect on Okay, here you can control the scene fact This is the color Okay, here you can use volumetric lighting. As you can see, the sun is now volumetric. Select the sun. From here, you can control the volumetric intensity. Oh, it's too much high. You can easily reduce from here. As you can see, the sun is now have less. Volumetric effect. From here, increase it. You can change the volumetric color from here. Now, let me to create another light. As you can see, the spotlight is not visible because HDRP is physical. So a uh, spotlight is not visible in a sunny day. So we must increase the light intensity to too much high value to make it visible. This is the physical lighting HDRP. Not fantasy. This is physical. In the physical lighting you must use physical values and a spotlight is not visible under sun lighting this is real world intensity shadows now we can easily control the volumetrics As you can see, we have a volumetric spotlight. You can repeat the edge steps for point light. A point light, you must hack the value to make it visible and make it volumetric. The volumetric values is controllable from here. Oh, sunlight is too much volumetric. Okay. This is a good lighting. Solution from here you can use Ascrine space reflection.
as you can see the default setting is good this is the Martian blur from here you can easily disable lighting box as you can see the lighting box make your lighting magic here you can control the exposure automatic automatic is much better than others here the overall screen exposure this is the contrast and the most important is gamma the gamma contrast and this option is very important this one contrast and gamma always use these three options to control the from here you can use filmic style lighting easily this one will be shown you on the next part here you can control the shadows near distance mid distance and far distance micro shadowing and vignette effect everything looks amazing in hdrp lighting box okay this one open your lighting i hope this video will be useful for you this is the basics of the hdrp lighting box you can follow my other videos to learn how to use on interior lighting and others i hope this video will be useful for you